I won't, bless Palm Dog. And today, with Sugar Ray, we're working on the go to bed command. Nice job, man. Okay, throw a piece of food just to get some distance. And what I want you to do is to come back to this bed, target it, and lay down on it. Yes. Good job. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start building the stay. So the go to bed is really helpful for developing the stay command. It really helps them like feel grounded, as opposed to just asking them to stay in open space. And then as you've seen in the other videos, when I'm done with the stay, I tap them on the head, say release. In this case, I'm going to throw another piece of food. Oh, you missed that one. I'm just trying to intercept the food. Use your nose. There we go. We're getting closer. There it is. What a good boy. Oh, I found the second piece. Sugar it. Go to bed. Yes. So we're going to clean up the actual targeting of the bed. You see he's a little bit farther back. But I'm happy that he's starting to understand the, the concept here. So now I'm going to test him a little bit. Stay. By standing up. Yes. Down, sitting down. Yes. Good job. Stay. Now I'm going to move a little bit. Good. So just helping them to understand that regardless of what I do, he is supposed to stay on the mat. Very nice. Stay. Excellent. Very nice. And of course, I'm paying him a lot. Release. Because he's giving up a lot, you know, he wants to check out the room, he wants to do other things, but I'm making sure he understands that if he doesn't move, instead if he stays on the bed, he's going to get paid handsomely. So we really want to create like this positive association that whenever they see the bed, they're like, oh, I know exactly what I need to do. A little sloppy, but I'll give it to you for effort. Good job. One of the boys are the right. That's such a good boy. Whoa. 